Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily fix the Valorant VGK.SYS error step by step. This issue usually appears due to system permissions, conflicts, or security settings. But don't worry, we will fix this right away. Let's begin. First, locate the VGK file on your PC. Click on your uh, start menu over here. Look up for this PC. Go to local disk C, program files, and then I want you to scroll down and look for Riot Vanguard. Currently, I don't have Valorant on my PC, but let's pretend that this is the Riot folder. All right, right click, choose properties, go to the security tab, then click on edit. Make sure you have the admin rights. Select your account and allow all boxes to give permissions over here once done click on apply and again make sure you are on the correct account okay once done click on apply and then we need to move on to the next step go ahead open your windows search bar over here look up for windows security click on that then we need to go to device security tab Click on Core Isolation Details. Make sure Memory Integrity is off. All right. Usually this is on by default. Make sure it's turned off. Right. If the problem still persists, we need to go to step number three. Okay. Go to your Windows PowerShell. All right. Just go ahead and look up for PowerShell over here. And then we need to run a command. Okay. Run this specific command. I will show you on the screen. And PowerShell might take a few minutes to completely run the command. Once done, once done, go ahead, close. You might need to restart your computer to make sure that the FX will uh, show up immediately in your PC. And finally, open the run command by pressing Windows R, or we can simply go to the control panel, right? We will choose uninstall a program. And then head over here, turn Windows features on or off. Okay, we need to make sure that Hyper-V is unchecked. Scroll down and we need to make sure that Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform is also disabled. Make sure to click on Apply, Close, Close Everything, Restart Your Computer. And that's it. With all of these steps, you should now be able to successfully fix all of the issues relating to this particular error easily. I hope you found this video very helpful.